So we find ourselves in beautiful Edison, New Jersey today. And what we're going to be discussing with one of our channel partners is the new Sharp as a Service subscription kit. And if you watched my last episode on, uh, on Sharp as a Service, which I'll leave a link to up top here, uh, you'll know that Sharp as a Service is basically a fully self-contained license plate recognition solution in a box, right? I mean, it literally comes with everything, the camera, the, uh, the service, the cloud instance, like everything that you need to set up a license plate recognition system. And uh, pretty much that's it, right? Plug it in, turn it on, and, and you're off to the races. But I thought what would be interesting is if you saw me set this thing up in five minutes and start capturing plates from uh, literally setting this thing up, which is in the Tesla right now, to getting it out here, plugged in and turned on. So let's get started. So first things first, uh, here's everything as it is right now in my trunk. So there's the kit. You'll recognize it from the last video. I've got it mounted to the post. There's my concrete pillar. Literally, I'm just going to take all this stuff out, plunk it down on the side of the road, and then plug it in. Now to get power, I'm gonna use an inverter that I'm gonna plug into the Tesla for electricity, but literally that's all I'm gonna do. So uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around and you'll see that process right now. Lights look good. Let's fire up the laptop and see if we're getting reads. So the cellular uh, radio took about a minute to, to spin itself up, get itself connected to the service that's living up in the cloud, fired up my laptop, connected it to my phone, which is what I'm talking to you on right now, and I am getting reads. So as you can see, I'm getting reads. Apologize for the screen glare here, but uh, there's a car coming right now and it should pick it up. There you go. Here comes a truck. And there you go. Now, here's an important thing to note. Uh, the way that I have the camera set up is really just looking for cars that are incoming, so front-facing plates. Um, I did not call the Genetech support line to have it uh, configured, uh, so I literally just took it out of the box. I didn't focus it, so I knew what my focus was. I knew roughly where, uh, where the camera was gonna be looking for plates, and I knew this would be a good spot for it. Of course, you could, um, you know, go through the process with Genetech support and calibrate it. In fact, I would highly recommend you calibrate it for exactly what you're doing. But as you can see, I didn't need to do any calibration here. The camera was literally just set up, ready to go out of the back of my trunk and all it needed was power. So I got it to where I wanted it to be, plugged it in and I'm getting reads. And if I had any uh, cars on my hit list, I'd be getting hits now as well. So that's it. I mean, it really couldn't be any easier. So I've got a demo that I have to go into. I'm, uh, I'm right on time. Better to be early than late, of course. Uh, if you've got questions or you would like a, a personalized demo of this product, and by the way, Sharp as a Service is offering, oh, hold on, car coming. And we got the read as well. Uh, we are offering a 30-day free trial for this project. So if you've got an application and you want to uh, you want to try this thing out, now's the time. Truck coming. Got the read. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. 
Be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and we'll see you on the next one.